Good morning. We're here, pulled off the Wild Basin Road at the winter parking area. And we're gonna head on up to the Finch Lake Trailhead. We're then gonna take the trail from the Finch Lake Trailhead 
up and around and back down to the Wild Basin Trailhead. We should see Calypso Cascades and Copeland Falls on the way. And we're starting off here at just past 740 in the morning. So we have to walk about a mile or so on this road to get up to the Finch Lake Trailhead. And then that's where the hike is really gonna start. Hopefully once we get in those trees, we'll be out of this wind a little bit. In under 20 minutes, we've made it up here to the Finch Lake Trailhead, elevation 8,470 feet. And we're probably gonna have to put our spikes on. According to the map, it looks like it's 2.3 miles up to the next trail split. And that's where we're gonna stay to the right and then go back down the hill. And we should end up at Calypso Cascades. And this is probably gonna be the worst part of the whole hike. This is the uphill section. And it's kind of annoying. And going up the side of this really isn't bad at all. I remembered it being way worse. But we've got about another half mile and another 300 foot gain up here to the top of the ridge. That's looking out onto Mount Meeker and then also Lookout Mountain. All right, guys. And in probably just over 30 minutes or so, we've made it up the incline section. And we did that with relative ease. That wasn't near as bad as I remember it being. And the rest of this hike now should be pretty much downhill. We might have a little uphill every now and then, but nothing like what we just did. All right. And we might lose the snow too. We just took a quick five minute little break to take the spikes off. I got them hanging off the front of my backpack though for easy access in case I gotta throw them back on. Well, we might need them again, I'm not sure. We're bouncing in and out of the snow. I'm opting to hike without the micro spikes. However, if you wanted to wear them, you could. I'm sure we're gonna see some more snow up here. It is a beautiful day. Look at that blue bird sky. And we had to stop and put the spikes back on. I think we're gonna need them for a while. Looks like we have another uphill section. And we put those spikes on at the perfect time. We've been in pretty steep, slick snow ever since. All right, guys. And we have made it up here to the trail split. Looks like 3.1 miles back down to the Wild Basin Ranger Station. And then another mile plus back to where we're parked. All right, let's take it over in this direction. And I'm hoping we get some really awesome views on the way down. I'm already starting to see them. Wow. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, look at that shot right there. And then starting left to right, we've got Mount Alice, Chief's Head Peak, Pagoda Mountain, Long's Peak, and Mount Meeker. to Calypso Cascades and this should be a really beautiful section of trail. We've got big old Copeland Mountain out there in front of us. It's pretty gnarly back here. This snow just goes dipping right off to the right. You definitely don't want to lose your grip and slide down. getting some awesome views right here. This is so beautiful. Oh no! This is a really beautiful trail. Just unbelievable views. Wow, look at this. hoping this trail was going to be pretty but this is really exceeding my expectations I think that pretty blue sky and white puffy clouds are helping though and we hit that corner and we're out of the snow here for a second this is fantastic I mean it was pretty deep about two minutes ago guys it looks like we're at the end of the road and we're not going to be able to complete the loop we just ran into like a hiking group up here some kind of hiking club or something and they are also turning around because they said there's a really high chance of avalanche right here plus the trail stops it gets real steep it's just too sketchy it's not worth the risk even though we are so close to Calypso Cascades right now. God, if we could just get to Calypso Cascades, we'd be home free. But it's not gonna work, guys. We're gonna have to go back up and retrace our steps. We're on the way back. And this is gonna suck for the next half mile or so. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to go back uphill through all that really deep snow. I can see the trail 
cutting across there but it looks like maybe only one or two people tried it and uh yeah we're not doing it it's way too sketchy and after maybe 15 minutes worth of hiking or so we're back up here to the trail split so that really wasn't that bad and right now i'm wishing we had started at the allen's park trailhead that's only 1.8 miles we're looking at probably closer to four that's okay though most all of it is downhill okay and we have made it down past the real snowy part we just took the spikes off again and we have made it up here to the final trail split and from here we have 1.8 miles back down to the finch lake trailhead and personally i think that's an overblown 1.8 I think it's maybe 1.5 if anything. We've got some beautiful views here to the southeast. Oh, just amazing. That's gonna be looking down to the Allen's Park area. We're taking one final equipment adjustment break. We're having to put the spikes back on. But yeah, we've been putting these spikes on and off all day, like Mr. Miyagi. Spikes on! Spikes off! And right now the spikes are on. This is what I call a gear hike, where I used most everything in my backpack for the most part. I used my baseball hat, stocking cap, windbreaker, thermal ball, heated gloves, uh, you name it. About the, yeah, use the spikes. About the only thing I didn't use were my poles. And we're about halfway down this decline portion of the hike. Maybe about another half mile to the road. And I can't wait to be back down to that road. Can take these spikes off once and for all. And we made it back. Finch Lake Trailhead. Some people might consider that a hike fail because we didn't make it around the loop. But it wasn't because of us. It's because the trail was impassable. That's what I call a trail fail. I mean, we could have tried it, but I mean, you're only dealt one hand out here. So you gotta play your cards right. And it just wasn't worth the risk. guys and we're back according to the GPS it looks like we're right around eight miles on the day which is a pretty good hike especially when 95% of it is in the snow so yeah that was a great hike I think we both really liked it and it was just a beautiful day out here really spectacular all right nice job boom eight miles Hope you enjoyed that hike. Until the next one, y'all. Peace.